Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. It is pop-up shop day. I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> Anyway, it is about 7 30 ish a little bit after 7 30. i've probably been up since about 6 30 i brushed my teeth washed my face already and i just got to put on my clothes i was just getting stuff out of the shed to pack up the last of my items and so i'm just closed down my shop for the day like i said i was going to close the shop so that i can <clears throat> not worry about people buying stuff if another person's buying it online and then all of a sudden I don't have enough product so I'm just not even gonna deal with them just gonna close the site down until I'm finished with the uh, pop-up shop and I'm just checking out my Shopify point of sale right quick and make sure everything is working as it should and that I can see all of my products um, and make sure everything that I'm selling is listed and ready to be purchased so yeah let me get ready it's 7 43 and i'm about to leave here about 8 15 so i need to still put my lashes and put on my concealer and stuff and a little highlight and that's gonna be it i'm not gonna do too much with the makeup front um but yeah i think i have everything Ooh, i'm so excited okay i'll be back it's 8 16 and i'm about to leave so i need to go by walmart and i need to meet Kiesler for this cart so of course i have on everything amari rose today because that's who we representing right so i have on our long knit cardigan i have on our dark brown bodysuit our rip neat jeans the bodysuit and the cardigan are available but the jeans are not i have them in white but i don't have them in blue and then i have on my old combat boots i'm gonna probably bring my doc martens with me i just don't want to get them dirty going through this wet grass <laughs> so i got on the old one so i'm gonna bring the new ones with me and probably switch them out just so i can break them in today but yes this is your girl outfit for today i decided not to do any makeup i'm already sweating and i just can't do it i can't do it today so i'm not so i'm cute still or whatever <laughs> so that's what i'm doing so i have every single thing i never did give you guys a close-up of my doc martens but this is what they look like they are super cute. Ooh, I'm so, so excited to try these on today. See how I feel. So I have everything. I have all of my chargers, all of my cords. Everything is charged up to 100%. I have my keys. I have my ID, my check card. I have cash. It's inside of the actual, um, what do you call that thing? in the car <laughs> so that thing I have that and then I have um I have some Clorox wipes I have some hand sanitizer because you know we're still in the pandemic I have my mask and I think I just need my iPad and my phone and I'll be good to go so let's get out of here you guys let's pop up shop hey okay I'll be back all right you guys so I'm out of Walmart and I did find some chairs. Alicia couldn't get the chairs, so I found some chairs at Walmart. It was like $12. No big deal. I got two chairs. I got two chalkboard pens. I have these chalkboards I need to write on. I did meet with Kisla, and she let me borrow her wagon. I really appreciate that. And it's super early. It's only 9.25. I'm going to be there to 10, 10, 15 -ish or whatever. So I'm... I came, I was in Leeds, is where I met her at, because she lives in Leeds, so I met her like halfway from between her house and mine to pick up the wagon, and so I think I'm going to treat myself to breakfast this morning, I'm going to go ahead and get me some Chick-fil-A, baby that Starbucks line is ridiculous, so is this Chick-fil-A line, I might not can get no Chick-fil-A y'all, because who got time, who got time, I didn't even know people be up this early on a Saturday talking about some getting some breakfast, I thought everybody still be in the damn bed, but clearly not, um, because the Chick-fil-A line is off of the chain. So I should not be getting neither. I might go to Burger King and get my French toast sticks. Is what I'm about to do. Chick-fil-A sounded good. But I'm not going to be in this line. I ain't get no Chick-fil-A. So never mind. This shit is ridiculous. And she's sitting there looking like boo-boo the food. Put my ass right back over here. <laughs> Take my ass to Burger King. 
and get these French toast sticks and some uh, hash browns from them. And the Starbucks line ain't no damn better. Child. These people are here is not playing games this morning. So much for that. Well, I'll treat myself to Burger King. <laughs> I like their French toast sticks. I think they're good when they cook them right. Um, you know, that's a hit or miss. But it's super early, so hopefully they got some fresh ones coming out soon. Uh, so like I said, I have plenty of time. I'm just really killing time right now. Um, I'm about to create my... I posted for Amari Rose this morning. And I'm about to post on my personal Instagram. Because I was telling you guys to like every uh, picture I post in October. But I actually have to post pictures for you guys to like, right? <laughs> yeah, I might want to do that. So, I'm going to post a picture in a few minutes. While I'm sitting in this line waiting on my food. I already wrote the caption. I just need to edit the photo right good. See? Ain't nobody in the Burger King line. They treat the Burger King be good, too. I'm very picky about my breakfast, so if I go somewhere for breakfast, they have some, they have some pretty decent stuff. You know, Burger King ain't the best, but they I like their French toast sticks. Um, so yeah, but that's what I'm doing. So I will check in with you guys later when I get to the pop up shop, cause I ain't really doing shit. <laughs> there goes my friend's booth right there, Gerald's daughters. They sell candles. They the one who told me about it. So they right up here in the front. I don't know where I'm gonna be at. Guess what they figured. I made the first pass and I didn't see my name, but the guy said he hung my name up under one of the tents and I didn't see it. So I'm I went out and I'm coming back in. I'm gonna drive a little slower this time. Let's see, let's see. Uh I saw my friends, Gerald Daughters, their stuff. They're not here yet, but I saw their name. But I didn't see mine, so maybe I'll see it this time. I go a little bit slower. A little bit. Whatever. But there's like a lot of people here, so I don't know how to get my shit in and out. They didn't really do anything as far as they go. So let's just see if I see myself again. I'm gonna go a little slower this time. <laughs> I, I, I think I saw them way back down. I think you're, uh, see the pink tablecloth? Uh huh. It's the pound cake ladies? Uh huh. I think you're next to them. Next to them? Okay. Hey, when you guys uh, might help me for a second? Jeez, Lordy. Oh, shit, bitch. You can't just bag up, child. Without right. letting me know you bagging up. Alright guys, you might not be able to see me set up because these folks ain't doing right. Or I'm trying to figure out where we going. Or what she doing. I thought she was trying to back up. So I started moving. But this truck started moving. People. First of all, she shouldn't have went. They should have had where I went out. They should have had somebody sitting there to let people out when they unpack. Okay. So, I mean, hope I don't hit nobody's tent. Let me see if this lady's gonna move. She's not moving, so I'll go on the side of her. And I might didn't see it because she said somebody was parked in front of my spot minutes ago. Oh yeah, there I am. Yay! I'm super excited. Oh, my little space is small. 
Martin. Hello. Uh, do you work here? No, I don't work here. I'm a vendor right next to you. <laughs> but the guy down there at the thing works here at that tent. I was just talking to him. Down there? Yeah, who's hanging up those signs. Yeah, and you're welcome. car back there I dropped everything off at the pop-up shop Alicia's here already so she's helping me she's watching my stuff and we can just pull up to drop our stuff off but we have to um, move our car of course because people can't walk so I'm just headed back that way to commence with the setup let's go setting up Alicia was a lifesaver because your girl don't know how to decorate nothing you hear me so she saved me appreciate it so this is what the shop looks like all set up for my first pop-up shop super cute Alicia's amazing thank you girl <laughs> and so this was like I got my little sign back there it's a little too big because it's really not a 10 by 10 but that's okay and then they have my name out here I hope we get to keep that I want to keep that and then this is my clothing rack with all the clothes on it and I have everything on display. Super cute. I'm so excited, you guys. I feel real entrepreneurial right now. <laughs> it's your first pop-up shop. How do we feel? I'm so excited. <laughs> so yeah. And then this is what my little table looks like. How are you? Super cute. I gotta get out my hand sanitizer. And I think I'm gonna move the candy like right here to, to draw them in. And then our good little friends are down here with their candle shop. <laughs> Behind the scenes of Gerald's daughter here. Hello. They got their candle set up. Everybody's good to go. Y'all are so excited. <laughs> I'm about to be down here shopping. I'm supposed to be in my own booth. <laughs> I'm like, what y'all got that I ain't got? Hey guys, I'm headed home from my event. It is 5.07. I'm 
right at the end it rained and it started pouring down so me and Alicia got wet but it was a really really good event I did really good um I didn't reach my goal but I was almost there so that's great like I was really really close um so yeah I'm just headed back home um it's raining so it's raining my side of the town and I'm not gonna take anything out of the car tomorrow Sunday so I still don't have to go anywhere so if I try to take it out of the car it might be tomorrow um because everything was just getting wet y'all this camera for some reason be it to Jesus no I can't buy a new one it got wet we dropped <laughs> and everything and so um it's still working so I'm hoping that this stuff doesn't come out corrupt and if you ever see me switch cameras and it look like I'm recording from my microphone, because I mean this one just died after this rainstorm, it rained on it and everything. So like I said, I'm just heading home. So when I get home, I will come back and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about how the pop-up shot went, um, what my goal was, what I what I made, and also um, how the experience was um, having the pop-up shop. So yep, I will check with you guys when I get to the house. I am home as you can see I have just changed out of my clothes I can't do it I'm so tired I'm probably about to lay down and be out for the night let me go back out to the car though because I forgot my iPad in the corner and I need my iPad till I fall asleep um, so I am gonna don't worry right now like I thought you said you're gonna let us know about the top of the top I'm gonna let y'all know I'm gonna let y'all know give me a minute give me a minute then I gotta finish editing the rest of this vlog right quick for tomorrow. And tomorrow morning I'll probably get up and edit the Cabo vlog to go up tomorrow. And then y'all probably see this on Monday. Give me give me a couple days, girl. Gotta get back into this everyday vlogging thing, okay? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah, this is my iPad. I was hoping I didn't lose it. And then this was my little sign. I took it with me. I hope it was. I could, but I didn't. I don't even care. My iPad. I think all of my chargers and things are like in the back of this thing. It's about to start pouring down. I will check with you guys in a few minutes. I'll make sure I come back and tell you about the pop-up shop, but I'm going to finish editing this vlog like quick because once again, I'm late. I'm sorry about that, y'all. My bad. <laughs> guys so i am settled down in my pajamas i've edited the vlog it's going up it'll probably be about eight o'clock or whatever and so i make sure i did the title and the tag and everything so i can just make it available when it goes up so let's get into this pop-up shop because your girl is tired it is 7 19 but i have had a long day i've definitely been up for over 12 hours so um on my feet and stuff and working so anyway it's a pop-up shop so we got there it was super easy to set up. You guys saw the video. Alicia got there probably about five, ten minutes after I did. Um, I told you guys the first time I passed my tent because I think I didn't see my name because somebody was parked in front of it. And I was like, my name? He's like, I put it up there myself, baby. You up there. So I rolled back around and I found it. Um, we unpacked everything, set up the booth. I really, really appreciate Alicia because I was just hanging stuff up. I wasn't thinking about styling the outfits or putting anything together or making the table look cute. Like I was going to lay the stuff out. So she really, really did a good job of helping me make it look presentable <laughs> um, because your girl was just throwing stuff up there. So I really, really appreciate her. Um, then a bunch of folks came out. So, you know, the twins, they own um, Jaleesa and Jessica. They own Gerald's daughter, a candle thing. They're the one who suggested that I do it. So they was there too. You guys saw that as well. And then our, my friend, then Kisa came through, a friend of ours named Christina, um, Randy and her little boy, Alicia's sister came. Um, and I met a really nice lady who got my card and said that she wanted to invite me to do a big market that they have at this high school. So I told her, just send me the email, let me know, because I'll definitely come out, um, make some money for sure. And then, um, 
Well, there was another lady. Oh, a girl that I used to see at the bank when I went downtown to stuff my cash envelopes. I was like, you look so familiar. She's like, yeah, I worked at the bank. I was like, oh, they closed it out. I haven't seen you in a while. So I recognized her. Her and her daughter brought some from my shop. Really appreciate everybody who supported my shop today. So my goal for today was to make $500. Um, but I only made $400. Well, I'm not even going to say only. I made $405. And usually... Um, that is my monthly goal and not my like just in a one day goal so i did really really i think i did really really good um today um it was really nice the atmosphere was good it was hot for a while and then the sun went away and it was breezy and then it got hot again but then at the end you guys saw we didn't have any prediction for rain i didn't even look at the weather it just started pouring down raining and i had like followed direction they was like don't park close so we want our people who were paying to park close so i parked way back so i had i told them i'm gonna get this car i'm not to be a uh, run around through this rain so i was the first one to pull up my car and everyone was like they didn't say nothing to you about pulling you like, mm, they let me i'm going right on up in here so we packed up the car and then i came home so overall i give my first pop-up shop uh eight out of ten and the eight is because number one i didn't know how to style my own shop and i really need to learn how to do that um my sign was too big it was a 10 by 2 they said the tents were 10 by 10 but that was too long so it couldn't have been a 10 by 10 so i might have to get another banner um that is going to be a 8 by 2 that way it's a little bit shorter and i'll pop up a picture of the banner i actually i'm designing myself in canva so um and then i just got it printed out at office depot what else when i saw i went to walmart this morning got everything the twin was nice enough to write on my market so everything in the market today was 15 percent off uh, so they helped me draw a lot of people in and everything and so um you guys saw i did uh figure out how to have some accessories so i did bring some of my purses that i've had that i haven't used yet and i sold them in my shop and i sold one of them but not the other two but hey at least i had the option for the purses though they were super super cute and then what else what else um and then it dropped rain and i came home i mean basically that's it and then i just unpacked one of the totes because i thought my chargers were in there but i left my charger to my ipad and to my phone in alicia's purse so i'll see her tomorrow but uh i can't charge up my my look my laptop dead so i couldn't charge up my ipad it still has pretty good charge on it so i'm gonna play on it for a little while probably till it die and then i can still uh charge my phone with this other charger that i have if i need to so yeah, so that's how my day went. I didn't get too many clips because I was trying to get customers in, but I got you guys a couple of clips. We got to see how it looked and how everything was set up. So that's how when everything went. So I'm so glad it went so, so good and everything. So yeah, so your girl is about to go to bed. So I hope you enjoyed this Vlogtober video, whatever number it is, I don't know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Do this.